Broadcasting from Hollywood, it's the official On Air with Brandon J podcast. Here we go. go. Here joining me today is Mr. Brandon. Brandon, how are you doing today? Man, I'm good. I'm good. It's it's great to be here. Awesome. Good to be here too. Um, I have him today to talk a little bit to you guys about the importance of uh, business, of running your business efficiently, and also at the end, a little uh, excerpt from Brandon about how important it is to trademark your business, um, which is also sponsored by the Trademark Company, um, where we help uh, individuals like Brandon uh, trademark his business so you can become official. So uh, thank you again for joining me today, Brandon. Without further ado, just stepping into it. Why did you first decide to start your own business and become an entrepreneur? Man, I, I think it's something that that I've always desired. I just did not know how to start. And as I got older, uh, living in Los Angeles, California at that specific time, I was like, you know what? I've got to start my own business. And, and I've kind of always just known, you know, from the very beginning that I was going to work for myself or work with other people. Gotcha. Perfect. Awesome. You know, every business has a why, you know, the reason why you choose, you know, and maybe an unconventional route, because obviously, as you know, just like any entrepreneur, the route of or the, you know, the avenue of being an entrepreneur is not always exactly easy, because sometimes you're on your own for the most part until you obviously get more people on board. What is your necessary? What is your why and why you are an entrepreneur? I guess my why is why not, right? Uh, why I why I do what I do? I do enjoy helping people. I, I I've always known since a very young age that entertainment is everything to me, right? I, it, my main passion. I eat, breathe, and sleep. Whether it's music, television, film, I I just love it all. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good explanation. Why, especially if. You know, if you have a direct passion with something, as in regards to your music and everything, yes. um, you know, whatever your passion is, sometimes you should make it a business. Um, I always love to kind of compare this because a lot of people, sometimes people just need more examples and something to relate to. I kind of use it uh, as like a security system for your house, right? For sure. Um, not everyone obviously needs a security system. That's not my major point, but you generally should get a security system because of how the day and age with that we currently live in, which is unfortunate, but that's another topic for another day. Um, so the security system you buy, obviously your first set of security system is your locks on your door, right? Your garage right. door and everything else. So that could be, you know, getting your business formed into an LLC or a corporation, right? So that's your first set. Your next set should be possibly getting a camera or two, maybe at your front door, um, could be, you know, getting a camera over the door or your garage door or something to see if anybody comes over that area, you know, so getting that security system set up is paramount. Maybe the next thing you want to do is get some window detectors. If a window gets broken or something, maybe you want to see if some, you know, if somebody breaks through a window, you know exactly what to do. Hiring a, a company that if something were to happen like that, they immediately send law enforcement your way and you don't even really have to think about it. They're there to back you up. It's, this exact you go. it's same always thing. good to have a, a backup plan for sure. Exactly. That's the same exact thing that Brandon was talking about before where it's paramount because you don't know when you need it as great as when it actually happens and hits you in the face. So you want sure. to exactly have that prepared. So when something does happen, your, your legal side of things is backed up. Obviously in this, this case scenario, that would be us because we'd love to help out anyone, especially if you're watching this video, help you with that side of the process, which legal as Brandon can see legal stuff is very tasking. And sometimes a lot of people don't even know what they're doing because it's the government. It's always difficult to deal with them. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is. that was a mouthful, but I, I couldn't say it any better. Exactly. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Next question for you, Brandon. Um, what is your favorite part about being an entrepreneur? So, like following, you know, up with you know, preparing for the worst or also hoping for the best. You know, not everyone has, you know, exactly again that path, but also some people just need true inspiration to become an entrepreneur. And then also backing up that question. With having favorite parts, what do you think an entrepreneur should possess or qualities they should possess to make them a better entrepreneur? Okay, so so being an entrepreneur is is everything to me. 
So I think that that ultimately, when you when you're an entrepreneur, you have the ability to constantly create, and nobody puts a cap on what you're worth or a ceiling on how much you can make. The sky's the limit. I mean, look at Mark Zuckerberg from Meta. You know, Facebook uh, out of out of Harvard University, then going to Silicon Valley, then meeting Peter Thiel. The whole the whole story. Then going public. Now Meta. Like he is ranked, I think Forbes said the fourth wealthiest individual on the earth because of what he's done. So there's no ceiling, there's no cap, there's no limitation, nothing is impossible. I said it earlier, some of the qualities that it, I think it's imperative that an entrepreneur has, right? Being self-sustained, driven, motivated, focused, uh, very good with people. I think that having the ability to be really solid and being able to respond and communicate with people where people can relate to you, I think that's everything, especially if you're launching a product like a health and wellness system, they got to be able to relate to you, right? We got to see case studies. We got to see things of that nature. So definitely being driven though. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. It's the most difficult thing ever. If you pay attention to who Gary V is, on social media, he speaks from the heart about this and he makes it kind of comical and kind of raunchy at the same time with, with language and, and things like that. But it's so true and vital and necessary. You have to pick yourself up. You have to, like an Aaliyah song, dust yourself off and try again. Uh, entrepreneurs will fail over and over and over. It is the ones that maintain the discipline that say, you know what, F everything, Forget what all the naysayers are saying. I know that I've got this. I've had this vision. Nothing is going to stop me. I'm on course. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in a church right now, man. But <laughs> to, to sum it preach, up, guys, preach, man. You can tell. I'm, I'm sure you can feel the the passion, the intensity over the phone as me talking. Like I eat, breathe, and sleep this. Like nobody out there. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a billionaire trillionaire, millionaire, whatever, is going to tell me I can't do something. Nothing is impossible. Awesome. Very uh, good uh, quote from Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. There it is. And I'm not quoting it, but it, it's it's true, right? It's, 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 it's biblical. And I'm not going to push religion on anybody, but it, it's just something that I live by. It's part of my, my daily mantra, per se. I'm right there in agreement with you, uh, Brandon, not to get too religious either, but I'm right there with you. Um, as yeah. if you have, again, I'm not trying to preach it either, but obviously if you have that extra part of it on your side, it does greatly help. It kind of helps you grow your business in other ways that you never would have thought. And if you have that going for you, that's awesome. And if you like to dedicate that or oh, of your successes to that, definitely got to think number one so definitely absolutely not, not yeah first and foremost god everything is god everything yes. is from god he's the provider so there it is exactly 100 percent. my biggest role model are those entrepreneurs out there that have not stopped that are continuing to fight for what's right awesome so you're mark zuckerberg's you're like you just said mark cubans i'm and also um you know i i think you said something about it before again uh with uh either successes or or things that aren't a success sometimes you know not you think mark zuckerberg 100 percent went through his entire career and not had one screw up or one mess up or somebody out there telling him and it's not going to work you're, you're going to get that no matter what. And so Brandon- That's it. Richard Branson said he surrounds himself around smarter people in the areas where he's less competent. Exactly. So there's a Forbes article, Richard Branson. I'm, I'm surrounding myself around smarter people. Exactly, exactly. And so when you do that, um, and especially with, again, people that are, there's always going to be naysayers. If you push yes. past those naysayers, and are able to just kind of just have a healthy mindset going forward with that, that's only going to help you in the long run. Because again, everyone gets told no, everyone gets told that it's not going to work. And it's those people like Brandon, like Mark Zuckerberg, and all those other successful people out there, that obviously all of them have been able to get through that too. Um, just like, for example, like Arnold Schwarzenegger was told that he was he sounds funny, um, that nobody's going to like his character. Nobody's going to like the way he, he talks because it's not going to appeal to the American um, movie watchers. Um, and look at him now. He's one of the 
or has been one of the biggest, um, you know, actors in Hollywood for a Did long you see time. The Super Bowl commercial, the State Farm commercial. Oh, I love that one, and like especially yeah, in the yeah. But it's exactly oh what you just said. Like he got made fun of and all these things, but now he's making millions off of that very same thing that people made fun of him. Exactly. Uh, all those Exactly. Well put. And also another friend of his, um, going back to, again, um, you know, uh, not having, you know, successes sometimes and also people putting you down. One of my favorite movie quotes of all time, Brandon, shout out if you've ever seen this movie, Rocky Six. Have you seen that one? Oh, yeah, man. Rocky. Yes. Rocky Six. There is this one part of the video uh, or the movie, sorry, uh, that he's talking to his son. And every single time I see this scene, I get a little emotional. But he talks about obviously his his uh, son is not so fond of him going out and, um, you know, fighting again because it's going to compromise right. his identity when he's already making an identity for himself. And it's going to put attention on his son. And his son's very upset with him for that exact reason. But at Rocky giving all of his advice, you know, he said, you know, son, you know, life's not a full of bunch of sunshine and rainbows. People are going to beat you to your knees um, and to they keep you permanently if you let it. But, you know, it takes a real man to be able to get up from those naysayers and just kind of push through that and get get to where you need to be. His exact words were, you know, um, you, that if it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. It's how much you can take and keep moving forward. As you've seen in all the Rocky movies, he takes quite a beating in the face. Hey, look at Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali would, would talk and talk and talk and take so many hits and then uh, pummel his opponent because they would be, you know, exhausted after all of that at the end of the, the fight. Exactly. And then you have harder hitters like Mike Tyson, who can just go up to you and hit you one time in the face and you're down, you know, so yeah, he can break your jaw. And I'll, he can break your jaw. Down. Exactly. <laughs> Are you looking forward to this uh, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight? Are you uh, interested? I knew you were going to ask me that. I was like, OK, I'm waiting for it. Here's my thing, right? Tyson is a legend. And so I think if Jake Paul isn't careful, Tyson could could really hurt. Uh, Jake Paul. So I think it'll be a, it'll be an interesting fight to say the least. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm I it's it's kind of a love and hate relationship I have with my, uh, Jake Paul because yeah, I do think he's annoying just like his other brother. But um, I do feel that he is he's very interesting to watch. It's just like Conor McGregor. Like I, yeah. I, I he is really entertaining to watch fight. But most of the entertainment comes from him running his mouth. Well, um, that's it. It's entertaining. I mean, they're 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 brilliant in their own right when it comes to marketing, when it comes to social media, getting people to talk about them. But when it comes down to the legends, it, that, that's like him going up against, let's say he's playing basketball, right? And he goes up against Michael Jordan right after the Michael, jo Michael Jordan retired. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he may be retired, but I still wouldn't go up against Michael Jordan. Exactly. Or anybody that has that Mamba mentality. Exactly. You never, you never forget how to ride a bike. So That's these it. people were Lance Armstrongs in their time. So <laughs> here, um, what, uh, what makes a good leader in your opinion? A good leader is someone that is willing to lead by setting the right example, right? So if I ask you to do something, I have, I've already shown you. So you're a witness as to me showing you if, if I'm, for example, if I delegate you a responsibility, I'm like, take out the trash just randomly, right? and I don't take out the trash as the leader telling you to take out the trash, there's a problem there. I think I have to be willing to take out the trash if I want other people to take out the trash. Exactly. Lead a good example. Um, That's and it. Others will follow. And I can't be the change. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If, um, you know, if you see your boss working twice as hard as you and um, that kind of inspires you to do the exact same because who's a leader or who, if your boss is the leader, um, then if you want your own employees to do the exact same thing or even work harder, work harder than you, then you got to lead by example. So, yeah, that's, that's it, man. Lead by setting the right example. Couldn't say exactly. any better. Awesome. Next and final uh, rapid uh, fire question for you. Um, I have for you, Brandon. Um, have you ever taken out a business loan? And if you have, would you recommend it? Um, I have taken out a business loan. Um, and, and I think that ultimately uh, it, the SBA, Small Business Administration, uh, .gov, they are awesome at what they do. Uh, I understood that by doing this, this was years ago that I would have to have the right business plan as I touched on earlier in this interview. 
So make sure you have all of your ducks in a row so that when the prep that you're prepared, so that when the opportunity meets the preparation equals a successful outcome and a successful result. Gotcha. Awesome. Perfect. Well put, Brandon. I really appreciate that. And um, as we close things out, I do want to say also, again, um, we will be leaving a uh, link here that directs you right over to Brandon. So if you love ex especially everything that he's been talking about uh, so far in this video, um, you know, just go ahead and click on the link in the description here. It'll take you right over to him so you can watch absolutely everything um, that he has come out with. Um, for the past couple of years. So everything's going to be in the description. Uh, Brandon, yourself, I really appreciate you today. Thank you so much for not only being on the podcast and, and being with me today, but also talking to our audience, anyone else that listens, uh, you know, to just really, again, start their business right here, right now, get their business trademarked right here, right now, uh, so that they can become official. So thank you again for your um, advice and your information. I hope that we can do another collab soon. So, because I, you know, I had a lot of fun today. Um, but uh, again, here's going to be the link here in the description. Go check this out now. Um, if you have a new product launching, if you have any other ideas, or if you want to share any of your ideas, we're, we are starting uh, starting some new videos. Um, if you have a product that's launching, like I said, again, we were actually going to start doing reviews of products um, as well. So if you, anyone who wants to reach out to us, um, for our next podcast or our next video, please um, go ahead and uh, contact us as soon as you can um, so that we can get that video set up for you. Um, Brandon, do you have anything to say to anyone as we close this out? I, I was just going to say thank you so much for having me. Thank you to you and your entire team at the Trademark Company for all of your assistance. I, you know, I've learned that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I will be using you guys on a regular Yes, perfect. Awesome. We'd love that, Brandon. We'd love nothing more than that. And uh, just to also tell you as well, um, my my company and also my owner more so, obviously myself too, one of the biggest things that we really started this company for in the first place was to help people achieve the American dream. Um, so we hope that we did help you achieve that as well, Brandon. So we really appreciate you saying that about us. And we'd love to help more people like Brandon as well. So thank you for everyone that's listening. Thank you, Brandon. And we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to On Air with Brandon J. Follow on Instagram at I am Brandon J.